everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendall if you haven't been here before and today I'm just doing a little chit chat get ready with me because these last few weeks y'all these last few weeks I have been tested in every way possible mentally physically emotionally financially any way you can think of being tested I feel like I have encountered that in the last two weeks. And you know, when you're kind of going through some things, you just you just don't feel like yourself. So I just wanted to come on here. I wanted to do my hair, put on some makeup, just do something just so I could feel like me again and just talk to y'all about what I got going on. So I'ma just go ahead and get started doing my makeup and I'ma just tell y'all what I've been going through for these last couple weeks. So, first and foremost, I totaled my car. My brand new car, y'all. I know. I know. I just got the car last year in August, and it was kind of like a, a gift to myself. I was proud of myself, you know? Like, that was my first, like, really big girl purchase. And, you know, since I've been living in Houston, like, this is, you know, my first time really living this far away from home. And on top of that, my last car was literally falling apart. So I just rewarded myself and I bought myself a brand new 2020 Jeep Wrangler. Basically, what happened was I was coming home from work. And there's a Starbucks, like, right across the street from my apartment. And... I kept missing the turn for the Starbucks. Like I kept, kept missing the turn. And where I live is like a midtown downtown area. And you know, there's like hella one ways downtown. So I had to keep going all the way around trying to find this Starbucks. And mind you, I'm literally, literally one block away from my house. So I pull up to the intersection, the light is turning yellow, but I was already like, in the intersection so I just kept going through and out of nowhere this girl came like I literally didn't see her until she hit my car so I got t-boned in an intersection and it happened y'all it happened so fast and it scared me so bad so my light was yellow turning red but I was already in the intersection so I just kept going through and her light was red turning green so I guess she was just anticipating her light turning green. I don't know what it was. Cause you know, it, like when you live downtown, it's like all those, those lights are on like the same timer. Um, but she didn't stop. So I know that for a fact, she didn't stop. And you can tell by the damage that's been done to my car. I'll put a picture in here so y'all can see it. Um, but she hit my car so hard. Like I was driving this way after she hit me my car turned around the complete opposite way. My airbags came out and I heard the crash. I knew that my car was like messed up because I could hear how loud it hit. So I just jumped out the car and when I'm driving, um, I usually have my purse like on the passenger side in the floor. After our cars hit, my purse and my laptop and all of it contents were in my lap but my flight or flight response was just to jump out the car so i jump out the car and my lunch and everything falls out of my car my money falls out of my purse like it was a hot mess and y'all i just so when she hit me um when my car got turned around it forced me to go to and hit a street sign so now, not only did I get hit by a car, but I also hit a street sign. I go up to the other driver, I'm checking on her, and I think there, there was a cultural difference. Um, she didn't speak English, really, so I'm trying to talk to her, and she's like crying and freaking out. And I'm just like, okay, well, I'm gonna call the ambulance, whatever. Um, luckily, we had bystanders that caught the ambulance and everything for us. Um, I could look at the damage on my car and pretty much tell right away that it was totaled because it had, I, your, my airbags came out and I was always taught that when your airbags come out, that essentially means your car is totaled. Um, so 
car was totaled basically and the officer um ended up giving me the ticket because essentially he said that i ran a red light although i personally didn't agree with it because my light was yellow turning red and her light was actually still red she never stopped through the intersection so that's another story that's its own issue in and of itself but uh oh my bad y'all but essentially i found out like a week later that my car had been completely totaled they were trying not to total it because it was still a new car and they were like anytime it's a new car like because i guess the value of the car is still so high they they really weren't trying to total it out but at the end of everything they were like there was over thirty thousand dollars worth there was over thirty thousand dollars worth of damage done to the car my transmission was cracked my axle broke the frame of the car was ruined the freaking um the rear view mirror fell like it was crazy like where my gas tank is like i'm gonna post a video so y'all can actually see all the damages that were done to the car but honestly like i really wasn't even tripping y'all because the way she hit my car and how hard she hit it on my driver's side like i have very few injuries like when i take a deep breath it hurts really bad like on my rib cage so I went to the doctor for that and I have a slightly fractured rib, but I honestly can't even feel it. Like, the officer that was at the scene was like, well, most accidents do happen within five minutes of your home. And I was just like, that didn't make me feel better, but I mean, I'm like, okay, I guess. So hopefully the car isn't totaled. We'll see, but lo and behold, it was actually totaled and I was... I was hurt like and I know it's a material item so I don't want anyone to be like oh my god you're crying over a jeep whatever you're crying over a car no that's not the case it was just like bruh like what I was not expecting any of that to happen like well I guess this is by Cairo oh my god this is so stupid like but honestly, looking at the damage that's been done to this car, I'm really grateful because I have had absolutely really no injuries. Like, I just can't even believe this happened. Like, six, seven months after I got the car, y'all. Like, look at this. It looks like iRobot. So they're taking it to the salvage yard today. And I'm really sad. Bye, Cairo. I love you. <laughs> well, I guess I'll be crying in the Toyota Corolla. Oh, it's just ghetto. I had just gotten off work. Like, it was Thursday. I didn't have to go in the office on Friday. I'm thinking I'm about to have me a good weekend. About to kick it no <laughs> not at all luckily i had insurance she had insurance like it was all good but it was just more so the inconvenience because right now my schedule is really really crazy like i'm working two jobs and then on top of that um i just recently started a certificate program um for a diversity and for a diversity and inclusion certificate and my certificate program started on the Monday after the accident. So it was it's like, it was just so much going on. And then, um, as you know, I work for a university and like springtime programming is kind of taking up all my time right now because we have this thing called Culture Connect Week. And that's a full week of programming um, on campus that I oversee. And it was all-star weekend at my weekend job. So I was just like, bruh, like the stress was just like, of course, of course this is happening. But just in the midst of this, I just kept having to tell myself that I, I'm gonna get a blessing soon because I feel like it is just so much happening across the board and not even just with like work stuff and you know, all of that. But I had to just remind myself that I prayed for that, you know, like. 
I pray to have multiple sources of income so I can't turn around and now complain that I have all these things when that was my goal, right? So I'm trying to just stay positive and see the good in all of this because truly I, I really am blessed. Like, like that was a major car accident and I walked away with very, very few injuries. So I really don't even want to sit here and complain about it because it really could have been so much worse. Now fast forward to that following Monday, um, I told y'all I was starting this certificate program and it was also Culture Connect Week on campus. And that basically, like I said, is a full week of programming that I oversee. And I had to go across campus to all of our partners offices to give them some marketing materials um, for Culture Connect Week. And I was on the phone with the insurance company just trying to multitask and trying to get everything squared away so as soon as possible so that I could focus on school because I really don't play when it comes to school. Like, I take my education very seriously. So, long story short, I had my AirPods in and I'm walking across campus and at one point in time, I got off the phone with the insurance company and somewhere along the lines, I set down my AirPods and you already know the rest. I couldn't find them. And like, I really wasn't even tripping because it's just AirPods, like it's a material item. It's not that deep, but it just seems like when it rains, it pours. Like I was just, I was just feeling so overwhelmed and it just seemed like, dang, like can I catch a break? Like stressed out. So then as if this can't, matters can't get worse, one of my coworkers um, in my office, she recently got a new job, which is super, super exciting. But when someone steps down from the office, that means that now everyone else is doing more work. So I'm like, okay, when am I gonna have time for this? Like, how am I gonna sit here and do now two people's jobs? I just know that God is like really working on something for me because when I go through something like that, that's how you know you're getting close to a blessing because it just ain't no way you just gonna put all this stuff on me and not bless like no. Sorry, I got my glass of wine because I told y'all it's been a stressful couple weeks and I'm just trying to catch a little vibe, okay? So, like I was saying, I just don't believe that God would put all this stuff on my plate if he didn't think that I could handle it. Um, and it really wasn't a matter of, oh, I can't handle all this. It was just like, how? You know, like you, when, you're, when you're going through something, it's never a matter of like, oh, why God? I never asked God, like, why are you doing this to me? It's just like, okay, what do I need to learn from this situation? And how can I grow from this? So it ended up working out just fine. I reached out to my car salesman and he really is the GOAT. Like if you follow me on social media, you see me post him all the time. Like he's actually become a really good friend of mine. He was able to go and find me the exact same Jeep. Um, I ended up getting a white one this time around just because um, just to switch things up and just for a fresh start because honestly i'm not going to lie to you like i was really shaken up after that like i'm not gonna lie like that really scared the shit out of me like i'm i'm honestly really scared to drive like i just got a new car and it, it's been parked thank you so much mm -hmm. okay y'all so here's the white one um it's literally the exact same car as the last one the only difference is that the exterior is white you go inside boom 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 same thing and this one does have the remote start on it now here is the all white okay sorry step off camera to do my brows real quick but sorry i know i feel like it's like i'm just talking all over the place but that's literally how i feel like these last few weeks have been yeah literally just all over the place but i say all that to say that you really just have to 
put all your fears and your trust into the Lord because he will work things out for you. Like, I ended up getting a new car, like, with no problem. It cut me an even better deal, so now my payments on it are actually even lower. I really want to get in the habit of celebrating small victories because, I don't know, I feel like it's just so easy to be negative when things are just not working out in your favor, and I just don't want to... I just don't want to have that, I don't want to have that mindset in 2021, you know, like, if you're going through something, it clearly is for a reason. And I know my God don't play about me, he gonna make sure I'm straight. It was just like, I know that there was a lesson in that that I had to learn. Now, I feel so much better, okay? I am beautiful, I am strong, I am resilient, and I'm gonna be okay no matter what. Did y'all peek how Cash is actually being quiet today while I'm recording? Small victories, y'all. Small victories. I'm kind of feeling... I think I want to do like a goldy color today. glitter on the lid okay starting to feel like me again i will say though i really do have like the best friends ever though because they have been like so supportive like just checking on me like are you okay what's going on so i really appreciate them just for you know just, you know, just for checking in on me because I feel like I'm definitely that friend. Like, when I'm going through something, you you just won't hear from me. Like, you will literally have no idea. Because I don't be like, y'all, this is what I'm going through. I never like talking, talking about some of the personal stuff I have going on. Because I don't, I don't know. I've just always been funny acting like that. But, but I will say, just being honest, I really am proud of myself for how I handled this whole situation. Because... I had like I can be kind of just like uh in the past it's been easy for me to just be like oh my god like why is this happening to me instead of like what is God trying to show you or what is God trying to teach you in this season and I feel like just like I said I have so much going on I feel like that was God's way of just being like girl you need to just sit your little butt down okay so and I feel like that really was the wake-up call for me because I feel like I'm literally always in a hurry off somewhere, whether that's to my week, my Monday through Friday job, my Friday through Sunday job, my, you know, and just things that I like to do in between, like doing shoots and stuff. I feel like I'm just constantly on the go. And I feel like that was just God's way of being like, girl, you need to just sit your little butt down for a minute. And... And surely enough, that's exactly what I have to do. So, <sighs> hey. So I just want to say, has anyone noticed how anytime you start doing good, like saving money, you know, doing what you're supposed to do, handling your responsibilities, it's like, boom, something just happens. Like, of course this happens, like right as I'm saving money, because I know I may have mentioned it before, but I was really wanting to buy a house this year. Like, that was, like, my main goal. Like, I was pressed. Like, I have to buy a house this year. And then, now, look, I had to get a new car instead. And I just was just, like, grateful again that I had it to do it for myself. But then I was just like, bro, I had plans with this money. And I just feel like adulting is just a series of... A whole bunch of bullshit just happening and you just got to deal with it like and also while we're here this is how much wine should be in a wine glass okay I really want y'all to stop filling your wine glasses all the way up to here this is wine not kool-aid and I, it stresses me out every time I see people do it I'm like now you know if you know you're gonna get thirsty again or if you know you're gonna want some more wine be like me, okay? I keep the wine bottle right here next to me. You don't need to go that crazy pouring out your wine in this cup. And speaking of, this wine is 19 Crimes. Um, and this is their Pinot Noir. If you know me, you know I'm a Pinot girl. 
but this wine, this brand is amazing. It's reasonably priced, one. And what I like about their wine is that they have an app for it, which I thought was super, super dope, where you basically scan the bottle and it tells you what crime that person committed and how that wine was created. And I thought that was so, so cool. Um, so last night, y'all, y'all know I live in Houston. And last night I went out with my friend Deja and we, I live like right here in like this midtown area. So there's hella bars like right outside my apartment. So it's like the perfect location because you can literally step outside. You don't have to Uber, none of that. So we are like, let's just go get some drinks just to celebrate. And her uncle was in town. I got my new car. So like, let's just go out. And again, y'all know I live in Houston and Texas is doing its own thing with this panini, right? So we recently lifted the mask mandate, y'all. And we went out last night. It was just like, the rest of the world is in a panini and Texas is not. Nobody had their mask on. Nobody was social distancing. They like have completely done away with all of it. It's like it never happened. It's just like COVID, she don't live here anymore. And I'm just like, okay. Like on one hand, I'm happy that we're back outside. But then I'm just like, should we really be doing this? Like, this don't seem... I don't know. I hope we don't regret this because people were out last night like nothing ever happened. Like, like we're not still in a pandemic. And I knew that Texas would be one of the first ones just because Texas is always doing some wild shit. But this was a different level. Like, a whole different level. And I don't know. I don't even know why I'm surprised because Texas literally is always doing some crazy shit. Like a few weeks ago, y'all probably saw on the news, we had this um, snowstorm, right? It was half an inch of snow, y'all. And they were acting like it was the end of the world. When I tell you, I was like, it ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. They really out, out here pressed like this over half an inch of snow. And you know I'm from Ohio, so I'm like, half an inch of snow is nothing. Like, we used to literally still have to go to school if we got seven inches of snow the night before. Like, I'm thinking half an inch is nothing. And I know that, you know, I'm down south. They're not used to it here. So I was just thinking they would just close everything for the day. It would be a day off. We will be cool. When I tell y'all that was the most dramatic shit I've ever seen in my entire life, like... It actually pissed me off, to be honest with you, because how are we this unprepared? Like, I know they don't get snow like that. They don't get snow at all here. So when it does happen, it's like, uh-uh, everybody just going home. People can't drive in it. None of that. Like, people here just aren't used to the snow at all. And I, I was expecting that much, but was I, what I wasn't expecting was for them to go in and manually turn off people's water and power. That's pissed me off so bad like i have never been somewhere where they are manually turning off people's power and water because we didn't have the electric something with the electric grid and i was just like and what's crazy is that we literally uh oh this last i crazy we literally just voted on this and the for the election it was to switch over to solar or whatever it's called but Texas is such a Republican state. I knew they weren't going to, but it's like, you have to be prepared for anything. Like global warming is real. Like you're gonna start seeing more stuff like that happening and we have to be prepared for it. But it was just a simple fact that they were manually going in. And if you looked on the news, it was like Texans are facing life-threatening conditions because of the weather. And I'm just sitting here like, Y'all niggas are the life-threatening conditions. Y'all are turning off people's power and water. Like, I didn't have power for like a day. And I didn't have water for like four. Like, what type of shit is that? And they weren't doing anything. And I just got my electric bill. And I'm thinking like it's going to be cheaper or something since we didn't have um, water or power for that period of time. <laughs> Why did my electric bill have the nerve and the audacity to be $285? I was 
was like, oh yeah, y'all tripping, tripping. It ain't no way. I'm like, y'all turned the power and the water off and now you're overcharging people because of the energy loss. I'm just like, what? I don't know. When people say, like people usually say like, oh, Texas is its own country. And like they say it as a joke. But now I'm starting to see it. Like Texas really is its own country. Cause th where they do that at? How are you going to turn off my electricity and my power and then come back and charge me for it on the back end? Like it's my fault that this happened. I was just like, adulting, okay? I hate it here. Okay, y'all, so in the midst of me venting and complaining, my camera did actually die, but luckily it was at the end. I just needed to vent to somebody about it because my mind is just like, bro, what is going on? This is too much to deal with. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, even though I was just kind of complaining the whole time. Um, thank you again, and honestly, I just wanted to just feel good about myself, you know, do my hair and put on some makeup just to remind myself that I am that girl because you know when you're going through it you just you know you don't really feel your best and you know when you look good you feel good I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in my next one bye y'all <laughs>